<laughs> I hope you're taking a selfie. <laughs> you never know these days. You've met Petra. She is our tour manager. Will be taking us through Bruges, Belgium, which is where we are now, down to Brussels. This is where we begin our tour of Bruges by canal. I'm going to be your guide for the next 30 to 35 minutes if everything goes well. So enjoy it. With one language, I can pass you the most information you can have on the tour. Hanging there with a total weight of 27 tons. So maybe you see the person standing there on top, just under the bells, just to have an idea how big those bells actually were. Also, when the weather is clear and it happens at Bruges, from up there you can see the coastline of the North Sea. It's about 12 kilometers from the tower. Here now when we pass the bridge immediately on your right you're going to find a souvenir from the French of the Napoleon Bonaparte is our fish market and still in use nowadays. Also for all kinds of events that we use there and also little local art galleries going on. little steps on top but if you look closely on top of the building you see a symbol you'll recognize it's our very first McDonald's from the 17th century <laughs> don't you forget it here on the bridge to the left the big building you see there is our College of Europe there's only one year special later on the tour so on the left our flag of Bruges again and on the right there is the flag of Belgium <coughs> Beautiful gargoyle, that's a little tribute to the Vikings who were at Bruges. So little details like that you can find all over Bruges. So the name Bruges also comes from, from the word Bruges, from the Vikings. That's actually the museum in there and a guided tour of 45 minutes with the station. Also known as the ropes against the wall. Saw the movie in Bruges with Colin Farrell. It's here he jumped out of the window for one of the scenes. Eh? Several times. After long nights of Guinness and Bruges. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Eh? Quite the guy. <laughs> On the corner next to the hotel. Bruges 122 meters in height and the second highest brick building in Europe. The highest one is in Germany. So the church was also completely renovated under the protection of UNESCO and while they were renovating the church there was an art robbery going on in there. Lots of art disappeared, never to be found again. So probably it ended up in a private collection somewhere in the world. So time will tell it. Eh? Bridge. Also are we gonna pass under the bridge and once we pass under it, if you look on top of you, you're gonna see there's actually three different bridges, one next to the other. The first one has little stalactites underneath 
this one from the 15th century and then the next one 16th and 17th century. You will see it in the second of So here you can see now the first one from the 15th century and then 16th, 17th century. So as Bruges kept expanding, they kept building a new bridge on the side. Nowadays on the last two bridges there's a building standing here now. In front of us, the little buddy Fasius Bridge of the 19th century, we also call it our Kissy Kissy Bridge. Millions of people have taken their picture here with their loved ones and also people getting to do something the other boats don't do. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to my dungeon. <laughs> You look on top of you, still some hair from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here now we continue in front of us. On top of the bridge to the right is the entrance of the Biggeridge from 1776. Nowadays there's still been an existence living there and also in the On the other side of the street, wood is filled with cheese warehouses, all cheese warehouses. If you were longer here, we could have done a nice walk through the historical sites in Woden because everywhere you look is all cheese warehouses. The reason we're here, right, facing the water. We have arrived at the Tomium in Brussels, in Belgium. This was originally built for the 1958 World's Fair. And it's uh, quite a sight. There's a restaurant at the top, the elevators that run up through every one of these. Um, This is called the Grand Place in Brussels, Belgium. This is our last day. We will be moving on to France after this and uh, enjoying the day. Cheryl and I have decided it is our last chance to have a Belgian waffle. We've been admiring them from the window and it's about time that we partake. So we'll see what we can find. Oh, well guess what we found? Let's see if we can get somebody to put one of these bad boys together. This is looking pretty good. Huh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 